Hey guys, it's Helen Hartsmith here again from the Heart of the Witch's Path YouTube channel. And I'm doing a video today that is a product review. I haven't done too many of these. I've done like store reviews and book reviews and things like that. And, but I haven't done a whole lot of product reviews. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this one. And so I thought that I would share with y'all. And the product that I purchased and that I am just finishing using up is RJ Liggett's Old Fashioned Bar Shampoo. So check that out. Let's see. Are we going to focus? Oh, we focused. Yes. Okay. So I might need to take my glasses off to like see this because you know, the old eyes are getting old. <clears throat> so this is an herbal formula. Um, I picked this up at my local health food store. If you live in the Lansing area, the Lansing, Michigan area, I bought this at Foods for Living. Uh, this is available on Amazon, and I will try to remember to put a link in the description box for, uh, for this. I'll probably do a search for all of their scents because there is more than one. I want to say that Foods for Living, if you're going to go there, there were four different scents. So this particular scent is an herbal formula. This bar is 3.5 ounces and this is made like old fashioned way, they say. So this is produced in I, it's New Hampshire. I was looking for, here we go, Cornish, New Hampshire is where this company is apparently based. So I bought this for a couple of reasons. I purchased this specifically because in a couple of weeks, as you know, if you're watching the channel, I am going to New Hampshire to attend my graduation from the Temple of Witchcraft Mystery School. And my aim is to take a carry-on and that's it. And so I wanted to minimize the number of, or the amount of liquids that I take, that I'm going to take with me. So I looked at my HBC products and makeup and things like that and thought about, well, okay, what can I change or switch or, or whatever so that I have less liquids. And so with hair this short, I generally don't use conditioner. So I, I knew that bars existed. And so I thought, well, I'll do, I'll try to find a shampoo bar. And so, like I said, this particular product is available on Amazon. And, um, I did a search because I knew that Lush because I had recently been to a Lush store, I knew that Lush had their own shampoo bars and a friend of mine had tried one and she said that she really, really liked it. And she said that it lasted for quite a while and she has um, hair not as short as mine, but she has shorter hair. And so I was like, well, this is really interesting. Um, I could try it out because I've kind of wanted to try a shampoo bar and I'm reducing the liquids that I take with me on my trip. So that was like one big reason. Uh, one thing that I really love about this idea coming from a reduce standpoint, um, guys, this is a paper, this is a paper packaging no plastic bottles. Yes, plastic bottles can generally be recycled. And this paper, um, you can probably like quickly um, uh, recycle it. I want to say that it's made from, okay, so the packaging is made from 100% post-consumer recycled paper and therefore it can be recycled again and it will break down much quicker than a plastic bottle. So in terms of packaging, this is like a dream for anyone who's into reducing. Um, and the ones at Lush, they have no packaging whatsoever. It's just the bar. And so that's, that's really nice. So I liked it from that standpoint. Um, of course, um, this is a vegan product. It's, it has no animal products. There's no preservatives. It's 100% biodegradable. And I'm not sure if they're talking about like the products that make it or like the packaging. 
I'm not really sure about that. But it's pure natural vegetable oils. Um, I'm just kind of reading the package. Um, it produces a thick, luxurious lather. Yes, it does. And very quickly. Let me just put it that way. Um, rinses out clean and easily. Gives body and manageability. Um, there's a money back guarantee and great for backpacking and for traveling. So yes, definitely. Um, is there anything else on this packaging that I want to share? If you're interested in the ingredients, it is um saponified olive oil. I have no idea what that means. If somebody does, please tell me in the description box or I could Google it. Um, but why not start a conversation? Um, vegetable oil, castor oil, sunflower oil, and organic palm kernel oil. There's also vitamin E. And then as far as the fragrances go, it has rosemary, lavender, and cedar oil. This is also GMO free. A friend of mine that I was talking to about this asked if there were sulfates in here. And based on that list, I'm going to say no, there's no sulfates in there. I didn't see any kind of sulfates in the ingredients. So that would be sulfate free. So um, let's talk about how this bad boy works. So I found this particular blend and because it's the only one I've tried, I don't know if they're all this way or not, but I found this to be a very clarifying product. Prior to going uh, cruelty free, um, I had tried some clarifying shampoos, um, and for those of you who might not be um, aware of what that is, when we use all of our shampoos, conditioners, hairsprays, and styling products and stuff like that, um, sometimes when you shampoo your hair, it doesn't really get clean, and so um, a lot of folks will use a clarifying shampoo once a week, a couple times a month or whatever, depending on the length of your hair, it helps to strip out all of that stuff that doesn't need to be there. So I found this product to be very clarifying. My hair is very squeaky clean when I'm done with it. It feels nice. It feels light. It feels, um, it feels clean. I, I mentioned that. Um, and I, I feel like the manageability part is, is pretty true as well on the packaging. So, um, I really, really, really enjoyed this product. So as you're probably wondering, well, what does something like that cost? I want to say that I paid seven or eight dollars for this particular bar and that as i said was in my local health food store so if you buy from a from a store then you're probably going to pay about that much um uh, but i did also look for it before i found that in a store i looked on amazon and they were roughly about a dollar less on amazon but then you might have shipping too so um, I'm the kind of person that I like to feel, smell, you know, all that kind of stuff before I buy. And I knew that this was a good scent for me. Now, I want to say that there was one that was a straight up lavender. I want to say there was one that had no fragrance in it. I remember there being four in the store. And so I don't remember what that fourth one was. Um, but the scent was not overpowering, so I enjoyed that. It didn't linger, like I didn't smell it all day um, and things like that. So that was pleasant. So if you have sensitivity to scents, then, you know, hopefully that information is helpful for you. Um, how long did this last? I want to say that I purchased this in early January and we are mid-March, um, now I still have, and I'm, um, it's almost out. So what I did was I have a small, um, plastic container that I have recycled. It was a Lush product that actually has a screw on lid that I'm going to take with me on my trip. And so the entire bar would not fit in that. So what I did was I cut a piece off of it and put that in my little container. And I took that to convocation to use. And, um, and it was like a perfect size, my little, you know, recycled plastic container, because I was able to put a piece of soap of bar soap in there too. So that's what I used when I was at convocation vocation and that's what I'm going to take with me to New Hampshire as well. So I, the bar isn't completely gone and so I want to say that I could easily get at least two months 
worth of usage, if not more, because I've used it pretty much every day since I since I bought it because I wanted to see how well it worked so I could share it with you guys. There is a note on the packaging, though, that, um, what does it say about the hair? Because I remember reading this earlier. Each bar offers um, this approximate number of use, or, okay, so it's talking about how this isn't a liquid, but it is basically the equivalent of a 24 ounce bottle of shampoo. And I would say that that's pretty fair, I if not more, depending on your hair length. Obviously my hair is very short, so I'm going to get more uses out of that bar than someone that has longer hair. I also have fine hair. I also, uh, so it's, it's short and it's fine. So if you have longer hair or thicker hair, you may not um, get as many uses as I do, but I would say that a 24 ounce bottle, you know, if you have thicker and longer hair, you're going to use more shampoo than I would too. So, um, I'm thinking that two months for eight bucks, seven, eight bucks, that is totally worth it to me, especially because it works as well as it does. So I, um, let's talk brooms, shall we? But let's have a sip of tea first. My mouth gets all dry talking to you guys. Um, I would solidly give this a five. This is a game changer for multiple reasons. I love it because it's cruelty free. I love it for how it works. I like it. Okay, the price, it some might consider eight, seven or eight dollars for this to be a bit pricey. But I would easily spend that same amount for a liquid. So I don't think that's too out of the way um, for a price. Um, and I also love that it's minimal packaging that is going to definitely break down a lot faster than a recycled bottle. So five out of five brooms on that guy. Boom. I like it a lot. Um, I want to try more of these shampoo bars. I've actually also ran across some recipes to make your own shampoo bars um, that I thought about doing, but the recipes make like, what was it, like 12 three ounce bars. And that was a little more than I was wanting to, you know, put time and effort into. So if someone has made their own shampoo bars, I would love to hear about it. Um, and I would love to know like your recipe um, and things like that. And because the recipes that I found called for things like tallow and it called for uh, lye. So you're basically making your bar or your soap base from scratch, which a lot of people do. I have not. That's a lot of, it's a lot of pieces or ingredients that you need to have that I've never, I don't really have the space in my house to hold stuff like that. So I've never gotten into it. I have made my own soap, but it's been the, um, the pre-made soap that you chunk up and melt. And then I add my own scents to. So I'm wondering, could I use that, that soap that you buy in a block could I use that and then add things like castor oil and coconut oil and things like that that would be good for my hair? So if you've done something like that, I would definitely be interested because, of course, if I can custom make some things for myself, I'm down with that. So let me know in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this video and want me to do some more things like that, like if somebody gave me a recipe that they liked, I would totally do a video to make it and show how it turned out. So if you would like to know or see something like that, I'm totally down with that. And you know, maybe I'll just try making it with with uh, bar soap uh, base and add some coconut oil and think, let's do some experimenting, guys. What do you think? I'm like having ideas right here on camera. So let me know and I will, I will, I am happy to provide any kind of video content for the most part that y'all want me to. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. 
comment down below or you can hit me up at heartofthewitchespath at yahoo.com. And I also have my Instagram that we're having some fun over on. So hit me up over there at Heart of the Witches Path over at the Instagram. Huh? <laughs> so thanks for walking the path for a little while with me. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be.